I don't think that any of us can stand up and realistically say that evil does not exist. That's an impossibility. And if you don't believe it, all you need to do is turn on the television or pick up the newspaper to see what's happening in the world around us. And you will read of children being shot, you will read about wars throughout the world, you will read about people being hurt, and you will see the essence of evil as it really exists in the world in which we live. It's hard not to think about that, and it's hard sometimes not to be afraid. For you see, life is really hard. And God really knows that and understands that. And all we need to do is take a look at the Gospel reading for this Sunday morning. And we see Jesus approaching this land of people who were very different than the Galileans and the, the, and the Jews. They were people of a different faith and a different understanding. And as Jesus got to the shores of their land, he was met by a man that was filled with evil. He was met by a man that was filled with the devil. He was met by a man who was filled with demons. And as Jesus approached him, the man stood up and said, wait a minute, Jesus, what are you doing here? Why are you coming here? This is my territory, said the evil one. This is my land. You have no reason for coming here. And Jesus approached him. And the evil one continued, then I know who you are, said the devil. I know who you are. You are the Christ. You are Jesus, the Son of God. And we ask you not to destroy us and not to do us harm. And so you see, even during the times of Jesus, people realized that the evil did exist and that evil hurt the lives of people. And evil sometimes overcame them so much that they lose sight of God and focus solely on self and solely on their benefits and solely on their individual gain, no matter who they hurt and no matter what. And then it happened. And then comes the word of hope for you and for me. Jesus stands up, he looks at the man, he looks at and he sees the evil demons that exist within the man, and he cries out, get out of him, get out of him. This man is mine, says God. I have created him, and I have folded him, and I have shaped him, and I have breathed life into him. I have brought him to life. He is mine, and you cannot take him over. And so Jesus casts out the demon. <coughs> and they enter the swine. You know, that's one of the reasons that the Jews don't eat pork. For you see, pork is a contaminated, filled with the evil spirits, as the scripture says. And so Jesus casts out the demon from this man and says, Get away from him! Get out of him! This man is mine! God the Father has molded him and shaped him out of dirt. He has breathed life into him. God has embraced him. And God is his God and he belongs to me, says Jesus. Incredible. Incredible indeed. You know, as we live our everyday lives, we confront evil. And you know what? Sometimes that evil comes within us. Sometimes we begin to think about things that we shouldn't be thinking about. Sometimes we act in ways 
that are not the ways in which Jesus lived his life. Sometimes that evil just moves so much inside of us and tries to take over us. And in those moments of our life is when Jesus again appears to you and to me and cries out to all of that evil that exists within us and shouts out, get out of him, get out of her. For they are mine. They have been formed and shaped by my very own hands. I have breathed life into them. And in their baptism, just like what will happen with May today, in her baptism, the Holy Spirit comes into each and every one of us. And Jesus becomes incarnate in us again and again and claims to all the evil that may surround us or try to conquer us. Get away. Get out. For he and she are mine. They are mine. They have been created in the image of God the Father. God the Father has breathed life into them. God the Father is continually embracing them and lifting them up. And so when evil begins to infiltrate our very selves, feel that embrace of Jesus. Today, as babe is baptized, reaffirm your baptism. Reaffirm the fact that Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit enter and penetrate your very self and reform you and reshape you and again cry out, You are mine. You are mine indeed. And today when we come up for Holy Communion and we reach out our hands and we touch Jesus again and we consume His body and His blood, close your eyes and feel that Jesus become incarnate in you again, proclaiming and chasing out all evil thoughts and all evil beings and again crying out, He and she is mine. They are mine indeed. How awesome is our God. How awesome is our God indeed. That no matter what, no matter what, no matter how much evil surrounds you and me, no matter how much that evil tries to overcome us and conquer us, Jesus in us, Jesus, the Holy Spirit that has come to us in our baptism and again in Holy Communion grabs hold of you and hold of me and says, wait a minute, they are mine. They are mine. And mine. How awesome and how wonderful is our God who cares so much for you and for me that he has given himself that he has died on the cross and that he has risen victorious so that we may be victorious in him now and forever.